Or if they're not, they, they figure it out they made it. Mm. All right, <laughs> here we go. Okay, um, so just real quick for Connor, um, this is your book. Uh, make sure you get a book cover on it, um, Mr. Ward. Hi. Um, let's go through a couple things here. I don't think you're supposed to. Maybe. There it is. Okay, uh, Mr. Ward, uh, you can call me Ward, Coach Ward, you know, whatever you want to call. Uh, model teacher, I assist in girls basketball, and I'm a student council leader, so that's what you'll see me in the halls and stuff for. This background, I graduated from Ventura, just not that way. That's where I graduated from high school. Um, I'm an Iowa State grad with a degree in mathematics, and then I'm coaching certified coach to what, every sport except for having coached oh, soccer. And, geez, I haven't done softball or baseball, but I do love both those sports, so. Um, class materials, just make sure when you're in class you have pencils. Uh, textbook with book cover, you need that every day. I don't even tell them, you just have to have it on you when you walk in. Notebook, paper, if you don't have it, I always put it in the back. There's paper back there if you need it. Uh, calculators are in the back of the room. Unless you have your own, you can always bring that. You can use it all the time. Plus, you guys get, what, multiplication charts? Every, so. You only have two so far. I have three. Oh. I have three. I was prepared. So. Uh, we always have uh, multiplication charts if we need it. So, um, and then daily planner. I say MacBook, but Chromebook. So that's something you should always have on you. Um, textbook itself. Here it is. Uh, it's the book that you have in front of you. Uh, it's, a, it's almost seventy bucks. Don't lose it before the end of the year. Because if it goes missing, you have to pay for it. Or if it gets damaged, you have to pay for it. So don't, so don't lose it. There's 398 pages. All the pages should be there at the end of the year. 13 chapters. What are we on? We just finished chapter 5, so we're starting chapter 6 now. Yeah. Uh, so we're in chapter 6, so we're right here. And we'll be moving on to chapter 13 after that, and then bouncing back to 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, so we you know, have a couple weeks left. These go pretty quick. Chapter 6 is probably the longer chapter we have, but the other chapters are really That's fast. Nice um, chapter 7 through 10 really gets us prepared for algebra 1. So, or algebra, I should say, not algebra, but algebra. Basic. Basic algebra, yep. Uh, calculators, these are acceptable. Like, that's a good calculator. It's five bucks from, like, Dollar General or Walmart. Uh, this is an 89 Ti, 89. It's like $200. It's stupid. You can't even use it in here. I don't, I don't allow it from this. Uh, the reason why that calculator's not even allowed in college, because it actually solves math problems. Right? You just type in the word solve. It has a keyboard. Oh. And you type in solve, and it solves it. Um, this is a little $10 one. Those are fine. That's from Walmart. Those are fine. This one is not. That's a TI-84 Silver Edition. You have one of those. I have one of those. It's for calculus. And That's what it's used for. You don't buy one of those. They're stupid. They cost like 150 bucks. I see why. Oh, so that's kind of stupid for a calculus. Yeah, you could buy an iPad for that, and an iPad's going to do more. In fact, you could buy an iPad for 150 bucks, a used one, download the Texas Instrument app, and use, and use the calculator on that, and it would still be cheaper than that thing. So don't buy one of those. Uh, classroom expectations, a quiet learning environment, respect your classmates, yeah. take responsibility for your own education, that means try your best, and then challenge yourself every day. Uh, Even I if don't think I'm going to be able to challenge myself. Just so you know, number one never so. happens. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Higgs points, these are the points that we have in the hallways, you guys know them. Be here, be on time, so right when that bell goes off, you should be in the room. Um, yeah, do the right I thing when you're in earlier. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, do your best, uh, be yourself, and, be, and we'll respect everyone else being themselves. Uh, classroom policy is disruptive behavior. I don't take it. Uh, homework is to be completed. So when I assign you guys homework, you guys know the drill. You have to complete it and turn it in on on a certain day to do. I usually give you what a couple of days to work on them each time. So you get a couple of days to work on homework assignments when I assign them. And for you guys, just sort of counter your purpose, homework is always written over here if I assign it. So it's okay. that bottom line. That's where it's I write. It's also on GMC. GMC, and I, I put on. I looked on that. There's yeah. nothing for today. For yeah, for the for each day I update it at the end of the school day. So like at the end of the day, once I assign homework, then I put on the JMC and I put on my website and stuff. So we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the idea. Um, you'll be assigned a textbook, which you already have. It's specifically numbers. So don't lose that book because um, it has the number 18 in it, so you can't really misplace it. Hey, I'm not 18. So yeah. So um, uh, you'll you'll have a scene chart most days. Um, I do have scene charts, so just kind of be aware of that. So we'll get one probably later this week. Um, cell phones, iPods not allowed. Cell phones and iPods, if you have any or any type of electronic device, you always have to go in the caddy back there. So, perfect. Show that, Eric. There you go. You just put it in the caddy, boom, and then you pick it up at the end of class. Um, no matter what you have. It doesn't, because I know like, a lot of people don't have cell phones yet. Um, it could be any device that maybe you, you're using. Um, disabilities challenges, if you can't hear me, see me, see the board. If you're having headaches, you gotta let me know that. What not. I have we'll headaches every day. I have one today, I don't have my glasses. 
Um, cheating is not tolerated, so don't try to cheat during class. I don't take that. You guys know it's too much to handle, too bad, so sad. Homework policies. This, this is the homework. Two to three times a week in this class. Two to three in, in this class a week. You guys can attest to it. We get about two to three. Okay. Um, 10 and 25 problems. Sometimes it's smaller than that. I think the last couple of times it's been six or seven, but there's been a couple of problems with 10 and 11. So that's usually about what we get. Uh, Lightwork policies, you can redo any assignment that I assign in the quarter. Um, and to make fixes on it, you guys haven't really taken advantage Wait, of that yet. Um, you can always make fixes. What about after test? Can you after make... test, no, because after the test, um, you're not allowed to make fixes and whatnot. Uh, okay. So after the, after the unit test, I don't accept late work. So we're starting chapter six today. You can work on all the stuff for your chapter six until we take that chapter test and then you can't do it anymore. Quick question. So, yes. Didn't you say you can only redo one of the quiz things once? Test, yes. So if we do a test, you can always retake a test once. Every test, you can always retake it once if you don't like the score you get. And I always give you the better of the two scores, it's a no gamble. Doesn't matter, it's not going to give you whatever the latest test is. Whatever test is your better score, that's the score you get. But you can only retake it once. And to retake a test, uh, you have to come in here in the morning or after school to spend time with me to review it. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be able to do the morning thing because yeah. I'm only here for half the day. Yeah, so you just come in after school and let me review it. Okay. Fair. Uh, and then quizzes, if we ever take a pop quiz, those cannot be retaken. That's just the snapshot what we did that day. You can't retake a pop quiz. Although we so, rarely do those. Like yeah, we, we normally no, don't do too many in here. Thank you. Um, only we may have done one so far. Two. Two. We've done two pop quizzes. Oh, yeah, two. So, all right. Uh, GHV uh, district grades 90s are all A's, 80s are B's, 70s are C's, D's are 60s. Anything below 60 is an F. Yeah. Um, except for down to one. It doesn't go to zero. I don't accept zeros. You have to do the work in here. You guys can attest. I make you guys do all yep. those things no matter what. Um, and then um, grading in the grade book. You'll see it in the grade book once I update it because we start the quarter, what, Monday? Tuesday? Yes. Um, it's a 40 40 20 rule. So each quarter is worth 40% of your grade. The semester test, and yes, we do take a semester test at the end of the school year, um, over the semester only, will be 20% of your grade. So. Um, the gradebook will have three categories in it, so if you're looking at the gradebook, um, once I update it probably today and tomorrow and stuff, once we get our first a few assignments in there, because we, we just took a test, so those will be in there um, in the next couple days. We'll probably review it tomorrow. Um, that'll be 55% of your grade is homework, 40% is all your test scores, and then participation. So being here, being on time, having stuff, you guys are pretty good with that participation. Mm -hmm. So pretty cool. easy. It's This is probably the most generous out of any class in this high school. 55% of your grade is homework. Because all the other classes, it's like homework is 10% and tests are 90. So. Can I give him one clue about this class? Yeah. He likes to play football games. Do, okay. do play a lot of games. I might fall asleep a few times because I keep getting up late. <laughs> Trust me, we do a lot of stuff. We move around here. So. I didn't go to you sleep know? last night till like 9 o'clock. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, there's your slideshow. Let's do a couple notes. Stay so I have your notes out. We'll get started here. I'm gonna. Stop camera, we'll restart it here to get them. Okay. So, well, we're going to play a little bit. Okay, here's the idea. Um, what we're going into is section 6.1, which this chapter, the whole chapter itself is based on percents. Okay, now, so that's what we're going we're gonna to practice at this. Now, what this is, what we're going to be doing um, throughout this chapter is we're going to get used to how to practically use decimals and fractions. So, I know we've talked about decimals a lot in this class. We've talked about fractions quite a bit in this class. But the goal in this chapter is to get better at them and know how to use them correctly. That's what we're going to do. So, we're going to use calculators. We'll play games. We'll talk about it. Okay? So, let me give you an idea of this, like what I'm talking about with, like, with this idea of percents. Okay? And how this works. Okay? Percents are just different ways of writing information. It's, um, it's a form of displaying data. How you display data to something. Okay, so if you know, um, it's almost like a ratio. You can you can write things in certain forms so that you can actually get data out of it. Um, so the idea is that if we play a game here, so let's say we're going to draw out of a deck of cards. Let me grab a deck of cards back here. Oh no. Okay, jumbo deck of cards. Okay, let me shuffle this. Okay, now, before we get started, how many cards are in a deck? 42. Nope, more than that. 53? Close. 52. 52. All right. Okay, these are huge. Sorry. Pretty 
and shuffle these. All right. Okay. So. Let's drop them all. Man down, man down. Yep. Some days. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna. So we're not gonna draw out of the whole deck. I'm only gonna draw out a couple of cards here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Three cards. Oh no, this game again. Three cards. Oh no. Okay. There's, there's this is a one, two, here. Yeah, one, two, and three. We're gonna talk about how percents work with this. Okay. All right. In this deck, in that, in these three cards, there's a seven, there's a ten, and there's a queen. In no particular order. In fact, I don't even remember which ones are which right now. So the, those three cards are in there somewhere. We're going to talk about what is the what is the percent of guessing the right card. So I'll I'll let you get. It. So Connor, pick one of these three cards. Any of these cards. Pick one. Seven. Ten. ten. Okay. So he wishes to get the ten. How many tens are in that pile right there? One. One. There's one card. There's one ten. How many total cards are there? Three. Three. That's a fraction. That's a form of displaying data to somebody. You have one chance out of three to win this game. Okay? To get the ten that you want. It's like uh, opening a booster pack for Magic Gathering. Exactly. Exactly. You get, like, premium card odds is, like, one to sixty. Yep. I agree. I used to play Magic when I was in school. Okay. Now, to get it, one out of three. Not very good. Now, to write that as a percent, here's what you do. If you have a calculator on you, take, so actually you guys do have calculators. Take the top number, take the one, and divide by three on a calculator. One divided by three. Type that in your calculator. Give me the decimal that I get. Zero point something. Zero point three 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 three. Okay, you take one divided by three. So three through three. So repeating decimal. So just gonna go across the screen, blah 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 blah. And again, how do you write repeating decimals? It's zero point three with a bar above it. That means repeating. Okay. What that is as a percent, as a percent, because this is like explained it as a fraction, that's a decimal of a fraction when you divide the numbers. You move the decimal two spots over. So this is 33.3% chance of winning. Okay, percent is out of 100 chances. You have 33% out of 100% to win. 100% is your guarantee to win. So what I mean by guaranteed win is if, if let's say it's this game. Okay, jeez, how did that happen? Okay, if this is your game, okay, so look at this game. You have all fives, and I said, and I turn these over, there are three fives, and I turn them over and I said, you win if you draw a five. Oh. That's a 100% chance, right, out of these three cards. Okay, 100% because each one's a five. Didn't matter which one you pick. That's 100%. So that's the maximum we can hit. But this game was not. We had 33. Not a very good odds. You actually have more chances of losing this game than winning. Okay, so Connor, pick any window you want. Uh, window 1, window 2, window 3. I'm going to take the middle. Middle one. Okay, fix the middle. Okay, his chance of winning right off the bat is 33. Not 0%. He has a chance of winning, but it's not very good. Okay? He didn't win. Okay? He didn't get his 10 that he wanted. Okay, so so that card was 0% chance, even though his his original number is 33. Okay, so Eric, one. pick one of the cards. All right, so you want number one. Here's the thing. This card is now, since there's only two cards left, it's now the remaining, it's the remaining number. So these two cards combined are, are 66%, okay? And the idea is that... Um, if, if we actually look at this, this is still 33 if we picked it originally, but we have a higher percent that you, you have a likelihood of guessing it. So you picked card one, it was the 10. You had a higher percent chance because Connor already picked one of the cards that it wasn't going to be. Okay? So that was the idea. So all the percents go to the remaining two cards, so it was almost a 50-50 chance you were going to win it at that point. Okay? Because the 66% was left over. Okay? All right. Does everyone understand what a what a percent is, though? It's a decimal, a likelihood of an event occurring. There's different games you can play. I just pick cards because cards is easy to focus on. 
Um, there's games where we roll dice. Dice have a certain percent. We talked about what well, we... Someone's going bankrupt, though. We played... What was the game we've been playing the last couple days? Monopoly and stuff? That, that all comes down to percents. Whether I'm going to roll a certain number. You guys always made fun of me. I like, I don't want to roll a three, and I roll a three. It's a percent <laughs> chance of happening. And what we're going to talk about the next couple days is how likely was it for me to land on certain spots? That's what we're going to look at. Yeah. So. Well, I know that 250. Yeah. So. <laughs> but, but that's what we're going to be doing the next couple days in here. So you got about two or three minutes left here. You can kind of relax today. Tomorrow, um, you definitely need your notes. If you brought a calculator from me already, make sure you get back in the little caddy back there. If you brought a multiplication um, uh, uh, square, make sure that gets back there too. Um, but tomorrow, make sure um, we're going to start chapter six. Uh, tomorrow we'll go into a couple uh, couple games we'll play tomorrow and we'll we'll see how well you can figure this out. Oh, Lord, when are we going to continue our game? Continue our game? Uh, maybe the end of the week. Okay, Potentially. Friday. Potentially Friday. Friday. <laughs> Someone's going to go bankrupt in less than thirty seconds. And yeah, it's called near war. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, today's classes are all shortened today. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it goes first.